this tutorial, I'll show you how to create some very nice tables using the Google Apps Drawing Tool. Let's begin by creating a simple table. We'll make our table four columns by five rows. I'd like the top row to contain the title for my table. I want it to be all one cell, so I'm going to drag the mouse over all four of the first row cells. When they're selected, I'll right-click anywhere in the top row and then select Merge Cells from the drop-down menu. Now let's type in a title for our table and we'll format it. If your browser window happens to be smaller, you may not see all of your toolbar. Click More to see the rest of it. Here's something that's pretty cool that you can't do on all the other Google Apps. We can select each cell, change properties just for that cell, including the line, color, and thickness around it. Change the background color easily as well. That really makes our title stand out, doesn't it? Now let's adjust the columns and add some content to our table. Some subheadings to label our columns would be great. Remember, to resize columns, move to a border, look for the resize border cursor like you see on the screen. Just drag the borders to resize the columns. Let's select all those cells in our subheading row so we can format them a little bit better. Once selected, let's fill them with a different background color. Dark text on a dark background makes it a little hard to read, so let's change that text to help the reader. White colored text will show up fine. We'll make it bold to stand out even more. Let's center them as well. With our subheadings looking great, let's add some content to our table. I'll just paste my information I copied from Wikipedia. I saw some good pictures on the Wikipedia article, so let's go back and copy one of those. This one will work. Click on the image. That'll take us to the full-size image, which we want to right-click on. Select the Copy Image command from the menu. Back at my table in Google Drawing, I'll just right-click and paste the image. It's way too big, so let's resize it. and then we'll move it over into the pictures column. The picture's still a little big, so we'll have to resize that row height to make the picture fit. First, we'll select all the cells in column 1. Then right-click and select Merge Cells. Because we want to rotate the text in this column, we're going to have to use a text box to enter our text. To rotate the text, we have to grab the rotate handle. Just spin it to the left. We'll set the alignment to center. And now that it's formatted, we'll move it over into the first column. Might as well change the background color, make it really look awesome. Let's make some last adjustments to the border. To add some interest, I've decided to make it a dotted line. And I'll also make that border just a little bit thicker. For one last touch, I'm going to change the background color of alternating rows to make it easy for the eye to follow across. As you can see, with a little creativity and planning, you can create some very nice tables which you can insert into your documents. Take some time to practice these tools and you'll have some really nice, sharp-looking tables.